Hi, I'm Fred from the Elastic Team. In this video, I will show how interactive machine learning can be used on 3D images. First, I'm loading some data. If you did this the first time, you would want to use the stack loader, which is located here. But for now, I have already compiled the stack into a HDF5 file format. So we have a 3D image here, courtesy of Graham Knott at DFF Lausanne. And all in all, this is about 10 million voxels with a very nice isotropic resolution here in all three dimensions. Now, I want to classify membranes versus rest. So first, I have to select some features. Color is going to matter, so I'm using a few color features here. And I'm also including texture at, let's say, these two scales. Features are now being computed for these 10 million voxels. And once that's done, I can go ahead and create two classes, one for membranes and one for the remainder. If you care to look at the features, you can press on this button here and you can browse the features to see what information the classifier can use in coming to his decisions. So I am using red label with a fine brush for membranes, green labels for everything else start the live prediction mode and I can now refine this until I'm happy. Now in our application we're using this as a pre-processing step for an automated segmentation and the important point for us is not to miss any membranes. So we don't care much about false positives, which is why I'm not trying to delete all these uh, spurious membranes here. What matters to me is that we do find all the membranes that we really have in the volume. So let's say I want a bit more membrane here. Okay, um, as a technical comment, how can we achieve such fast predictions on Telmian voxels? The trick is that this live prediction mode only makes predictions on those parts of the volume that you actually see. So you see as I now move, I've switched on the live prediction mode and I've uh, scrolled out of the region that I previously saw and you here see that we made predictions only in a few orthogonal slices. If I press the train and predict button, I'm now going to obtain predictions everywhere throughout the entire volume, which I can then parse at convenience and see if there are any more mistakes. Okay, uh, so this is a result that we use as pre-processing for a more sophisticated pipeline to then really segment everything into its constituents and in summary this video showed how you can use interactive machine learning in three dimensions and how to automatically make predictions for large 3D volumes. Thanks for listening.